Saudi Krab. It's Thursday, December 26th. I'm your host, JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. It's life in prison for the Chinese tourist who, last year, drowned his wife in a pool at a resort in Kamala. 32-year-old Zhang Yifan was initially charged with manslaughter after confessing to killing his wife, 29-year-old Zhang Jia, in a fit of rage at a luxury resort in Kamala on October of last year. Police later changed the charge to premeditated murder after investigating claims by the family that Zhang had taken out life insurance policies for his wife's death in the months prior to their trip to Phuket. All of it amounted to over 142 million baht in compensation. The murder charge is punishable by death, but the judge commuted the sentence to life imprisonment in consideration that Zhang acknowledged the killing in his final statement. Rawai Mayor Arun Solos is clarifying that what's been done in response to claims that 26-year-old Polish tourist Mateusz Jaskiewicz and 23-year-old Thai national Wedakan Siri Prakon, who were reportedly last seen kayaking on December 7th, that they've been hiding out in southern Phuket. Claims were made earlier this week by local residents in the area of Bamboo Cape, about a kilometer from where the couple were last seen off Yanui Beach. Many say they've seen a foreign couple that matches the description of the pair, camping in a tent with chopped wood by their tent, a hammock, and an orange boat nearby. Yesterday at a press conference, Mayor Solos told the, told the press that they've sent a Rawai municipality official team to the area to check it out. And they did find a hammock and a tent, but did not check inside or in the immediate vicinity. Mayor Solos went on to note that search teams have not found any bodies, no paddle, no boat, and no life jackets, calling a very strange case for people lost in a sea. Mateus and Verecan were last seen kayaking off Yanui Beach with friends on December 7th, and search teams have scoured the seas, nearby islands, and shorelines with no trace of the couple. Meanwhile, Mayor Solos is discussing measures with rental kayak operators to, quote, restore tourist confidence, including possibly having renters sign a form confirming they understand the safety rules. A police lieutenant colonel is facing three charges, including attempted murder after shooting a man trying to protect his mother on Tuesday morning. The shooting occurred when the victim's mother was withdrawing money from an ATM in front of the Krung Thai Bank in Nontaburi around 6.15 a.m. on Tuesday. The officer, who was dressed in civilian clothing, walked up to the woman at the cash machine and accused her of illegally lending money. The woman's son, who was nearby, then asked the officer to show his police card, which he refused. The officer said he, he would call more police and grab the woman's arm, which riled up her son, who punched him to the ground, and as the fight continued, a gunshot was fired and the son was, found, was wounded. After receiving hospital treatment, he filed a complaint with police. Police confirmed that the officer was a police lieutenant colonel and he's now being charged with attempted murder and illegally possessing a carrying a firearm. Puka Dexter will be right back after this. Welcome back to Puka Dexter. The security camera system at Lang Suan Prison in the southern province of Chumpon has been hacked and footage showing inmates living in overcrowded conditions were posted on YouTube. Justice Minister Somsak Tepsutin said the Corrections Department had informed him of the incident. Authorities still did not know how the recording was leaked. He was quick to point out that similar incidents had happened in other countries, including Australia and Russia. An investigation is now taking place to see who leaked the footage? The acting abbot of a forest monastery in Samut Sakon province is being defrocked and charged with sexually abusing novices at the temple, the youngest only eight years old. 40-year-old Saksit Son Bampayo was acting abbot of Wat Pa Suwan Tanaram and was widely respected by locals for supporting the education of children from needy families. But recent photos taken from some of the victims under 16 years old, they were handed over to police. The photos emerged this month just before he was set to become the full-time abbot of the temple. He's denying all the charges, but has already been defrocked. And that's it for today's Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and be sure to stay up to date at thephuketnews.com for the latest. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.
คุณมองเห็นอะไรไหมครับถ้ามองไม่เห็นเดี๋ยวเราจะย้อนภาพให้ดูทีละมุมถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด้วยความเร็วปกติถ้ามองจากคนที่นั่งอยู่ข้างทางคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ผ่านไปด้วยความเร็วปกติแต่ถ้ามองจากคนที่ขับรถตามหลังมอเตอร์ไซค์คันนี้มันติดติดไม่มีไฟท้ายก็เหมือนไม่มีคุณอยู่บนถนนตรวจสอบไฟท้ายให้ใช้งานได้อยู่เสมอเ